Uh, all right, Roshan wants a transparent tea kettle with uh, some sort of, is it a glass? Let's see, a glass kettle with a glass of tea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> you want me to be on here for the next two hours, don't you? What's up, Jose? Hello. All right, I'm gonna start with an ellipse up top. Roshan asked for this, and let's let's just keep that design going. It's kind of a pet design of mine, anyways. This uh, I feel like designers always have like some. Let's see, is that, that's not accurate. Um, they always have some sort of like design that you, you always want to see made. I know I have a few, but I like the idea of this kind of straight backed kettle or pitcher. I've done pitchers, kettles, whatever. Um, and the other thing I like is some sort of design detail that, you know, rolls into the spout here. And then becomes the handle. So definitely a pet thing of mine. So for the top, Roshan, what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the top plastic. I just, I don't know how the whole thing could be glass. So I'm gonna keep this as like an insert into the glass, All right? So there's a glass rim. This is gonna be a fun one. I, I'm just giving you crap, but it's gonna be fun. Um, so keeping keeping this a little separate from the rim and having, this color is way off by the way, <laughs> just so you know. It actually looks fine on the stream. This is weird. I'm using an old Apple cinema display for my secondary screen setup um, for the streaming. So it always throws me off when I look at it and I go, whoa, make sure you download the the final sketch, because the color reproduction is terrible. All right, some sort of inductive kettle here is what Roshan wanted. No templates, no Photoshop today. We're keeping it real. No tools, this is... This is raw. This is how we roll. I'm starting to feel like an old fuddy-duddy because, man, digital tools have gotten so good. It's weird. It's starting to become more difficult to tell what is real, what is deserving of merit and appreciation in terms of skill. <clears throat> It's really hard. I think there's a term for that where, so the uncanny valley, something like that. In uh, augmented reality, via, uh, virtual reality, the uncanny valley. All right, so there's our kettle. And then we need a cup or glass. I'm just gonna do a simple, maybe it has a wood base. That would actually be cool as a set. A little wood base and some sort of coaster. And we'll make it nice and thick. That's how I like them, thick. Thick glass. All right. I think I'm losing my mind. I've been, I've been kind of working nonstop this week, so I feel like I'm losing my mind. Also having fun, but yeah. <clears throat> Sketch day live. Thank you. Okay, so you you suggested that the T be the color of the paper. So that's what I'm gonna roll with. So this, this is gonna focus more on the glass itself. Getting that right. I 
I need to think through this actually. Um, I'm just realizing. So I wanted some sort of inductive thing and maybe there's just a little locating point of some sort. So I want to capture that. Okay, that's enough. And then this bottom piece could be some sort of different material. Yeah, these big, these big crystal pens are super nice. <clears throat> you can go really light, especially if you get the medium, I think. Um, if you're curious about the materials I use at any point, sketchaday.com slash stuff is where I post all of that. <clears throat> but yeah, these are really nice. Maybe we should do some like steam coming out too. Yeah, Uncanny Valley. There's a, there's, there's a moment right now happening in sketching where we're kind of coming on this, coming up on this like Uncanny Valley. <laughs> so to speak, where literally I'll go on Instagram and I'll look at a sketch and I've done it too, but I look at a sketch and I'm like, is that, is that real? Like, was that done with pens and you know, all the traditional stuff I'm used to? It's really hard to tell. Roshan's actually really good at that too. <clears throat> Follow him if you're if you're into Keyshot, uh, 3D rendering, compositing, doing all that cool stuff. You'll want to check out his Instagram. It's unreal. So I'm not just saying that because I know who he is, but he does good work. So check that out. Do I use watercolor? Yes, I do use watercolor. Not for product rendering so much, but one of my favorite things to do when I'm road tripping which I'm so excited about for this summer. Like you guys have no idea. I love just traveling. I'm just gonna go to some random small towns near me and just hang out for a bit. But I love to watercolor instead of take pictures of everything. That's something I like to do. Just kind of do some urban sketching or, you know, things like that. Something I really enjoy. So yeah, I'll be doing some of that. <clears throat> yeah, feel free to post your link, Roshan. I mean, you, you do some pretty amazing stuff, so feel free to post up. All right, let's get this handle in. Maybe the handle is just a metal handle, basic gray. Okay, just making sure I was using the right gray here. Sometimes I forget which marker I'm using and then I make a colossal mistake. Yeah, I think he has a YouTube channel as well. <clears throat> So you can check that out if you like 3D stuff. He also sketches, but hang out with me when you're sketching. Don't cheat on me. You know how there's like Netflix cheating? This would be like sketch day, sketch content cheating if you go there. Okay, someone asked for blue earlier, so let's do some blue stuff here. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can do blue. I have blue pencil. I can do blue. You said you take a picture and all. Do I use a roll camera? No, I use a, uh, I have a Nikon. Let's see, it's a Nikon D800. That's what I love to shoot with. Um, should I do blue? Is blue gonna be weird? Uh, stainless blue. Maybe I just need a light blue. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, I have a Nikon D800 that I use for like, documenting process stuff or taking pictures of family, that kind of thing. That's what I use. I dabble in photography. Um, I have a few kind of pet projects that I'm, I've been working on for a few years actually. And I'm hoping to I need to share more stuff with you guys because I feel like 
People think I'm just the sketch guy, but I do a lot more. <laughs> so, anyhow. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I do a lot more than just sketch cool stuff. Sketching is a means to an end for me, it's not the end. Just all part of the process as much as video editing is or has been. So right here, I'm just trying to get, get that blue in place, okay? Let's make the base blue as well. Get our shadow core outline. You leverage the paper to be your highlights where possible, where it makes sense. I mean, I, I, I'm old enough to have used a roll camera, so I just haven't, I, like, where, where would I even develop the film now? I don't even know. Do people, do, like, who develops film these days? I remember the last time I used a roll camera. But yeah, it's been forever ago, so. Some sort of rubber base here, or elastomer. Yeah, this, this paper has been interesting because some of the sheets are like super rough, but this one's smooth and buttery. It's got a really nice, really nice grain to it. All right, so glass. Glass is tough. Now that I got these base colors in, um, the tough part about glass is you really have to start by thinking about a couple things, all right? So where is your light source? Which direction? There's a couple clues here that I've given you guys already about the direction of the light source, all right? So think about where the shadows are, where they're pointing, all of that stuff. So I've got my lights to the right. I mean, typically, if you've seen me sketch before, I like to have my light sources to the up, upper side of the sketch and to the right. That's just what I'm used to but upper part to the right. And you can also tell because of the shadow direction right here, all right? So, let's see, Roshan said, oh, you sent me a DM? Sorry, I can't check Instagram at the same time. My, camera, my phone is uh, indis indisposed right now, so I'm just gonna go for it. Were you working on a tea kettle, Roshan? Is that why you want me to sketch this? I'm curious now. So here in the gaps that I have sketched in the side, I'm trying to capture artifacting. And artifacting just means that there are, you know, depending on how thick the glass is, there are things in the environment that are gonna be compressed. They'll get a little darker that you'll see in the sides of the glass. If something's really dark, you're gonna see that on the side as well. So I'm just gonna get some of these dark edges in, right, on the rim of this kettle as well, right in there. Roshan wanted the kettle here to, or the, the tea rather, to be the color of the paper. So I'm gonna try and preserve that as much as possible. Here's our background's gonna show through. Be a little bit distorted. All right, so I wanna capture that distortion. So if the tea is the color of the kettle, what I need to do is make the background a little darker. And that's where the, the very light gray comes in handy. Okay, I was just making sure this is a gray one. I was like, that's kind of dark. But that's where it comes in handy because now I can create a little bit of a separation here between between the liquid in the in the vessels here and the background itself. All right. And then reflection wise, if the surface is reflective, we're gonna have 
a little indication of the vessel. Maybe the wood as well, kind of happening. Same thing here. Something like that. <clears throat> oh shoot, you can't do uh, tea kettles. There's another dude on Instagram, um, Frywork, F-R-Y-E, work. And he, yeah, this sketch is way better than the first sketch I was doing. So that's why I say the, fir the first sketch on the stream is always like the warm up sketch for me. Um, but he works for Honda and he was telling me he can't, he loves sketching cars, but he can't sketch normal cars. So he does these like really cool paintings, like, Dude, it's awesome. Anyway, he does these really cool paintings. Check him out at Frywork on Instagram. I just, the, the thing I enjoy, <clears throat> or one of the things rather I enjoy about to toned paper, and like I said, I haven't done these in a while, but one of the things I do enjoy is just how impactful highlights can be when you start to add those. And it's really easy to obviously get out of control doing that. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't I didn't realize you were doing a a tea project, so a little shadow there, shadow core. Again, just the thing I learned on, on my internships, you can sometimes outline a shadow, especially with ballpoint pen and just kind of shade it in like this. It has a really cool, cool effect. <clears throat> All right, so the background color here, what color should we make the background? I wanna know from you guys, should we go with black? Should we go with a color? Actually, Roshan, you pick the topic, so you tell me what color should the background be? You tell me, what color are you feeling for the background? I'll work on this wood in the meantime. Similar to the, the first sketch we did. So Sketch Today Live, thanks again for hanging. This is our final sketch for the day. Appreciate you watching, being here. If you like it, share the, share the stream. Also, Come say hi on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram. On the Twitters, I'm at Daily Sketches. Check out the blog today. I posted video and blog of my process working on the tea kettle, but more importantly, you, or not the tea kettle, the uh, marker caddies that I did. But more importantly, I also have downloadable available <clears throat> if you guys want it so check that out I'm just mapping out some potential reflections reflective things here on the surface I'm gonna make some of these really pop nice and white okay so just mapping out those areas with my ballpoint pen I need a new sharpener. I've been thinking about um, taking my sharpener, one of them anyways, and like designing a new housing for it. 3D printing it. And then sharing that with you guys. So if that sounds interesting, let me know. It's one of those things I've been thinking about. So you can see the white immediately just helps things pop a lot more. We'll help some of these out with some white pen as well. Medium, cool, gray, or brown, your call. It's a tough subject. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just trying to make it pop. So I just noticed that my paper was picking up some of the texture from below. It's very subtle, but it's right there. So it's picking up the grid texture of this uh, cutting mat that I have put down. So I'm just putting some regular paper underneath right here as we build this highlight area. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, let's get some reflected light, secondary light source, sometimes called. I like to call it just reflected light. Or maybe there's something else in the scene that's affecting this. And then right next to that is where I want to do, okay, let's have some, some stuff that's like, you know, maybe more opaque that is impacting or reflecting into this glass. Sketch a day live. Thanks for joining again. Wrapping up here. Just with a quick glass sketch requested by Roshan. Roshan also contributed in the past. So thank you for your support. Much appreciated always. Also super talented. I'm surprised he's watching because he doesn't need to be here. Maybe he's, maybe he's hoping to get some secrets to share with his peeps. I see you, bro. I see you. All right, so maybe just an intense you know, something in the environment's like right there. I'm taking the picture, I'm right there. If you want to stylize it, you could, you know, add a couple of extra strokes, for example. But the important thing is I need a core of darkness, a core of darkness <laughs> um, <laughs> to kind of help that out. Uh, next to this highlight, I'm just going to hit it with a quick stroke just to help pop that. And then we're just going to keep building. <clears throat> Okay, I've got my Copic Opaque White that I can use here. Um, Roshan suggested like a brown background. I think that's cool. I think that would work. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do a very deep brown. This E49. Yeah, thanks for the challenge as always. Um, it's one of the reasons I like suggestions is if I don't get suggestions, I tend to do what's comfortable for me. And then you guys don't get to see me mess up. I think seeing me mess up is important, honestly. Because it shows you that a lot of these people you look up to online, whatever, like we all make mistakes, but you never see those mistakes. And I've been trying to think about, okay, how do I... How do I make this valuable for these guys? How do I make this something that you'd want to come back and watch? And I think owning your mistakes and just showing them and not being afraid to say, yeah, you know, I messed up here and here's what I learned and here's where you can learn. Like, I think there's value there. Unless, I mean, if you want to see perfect stuff, there's plenty of channels that'll give you pre-recorded content that's perfect, but I like being able to talk, interact, keep it live, keep it real. Super fun. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I look forward to these days, times. I do need breaks though. I mean, it's intense <clears throat> doing these live shows, presentations. It really is intense, but I also really enjoy it. So thank you. All right, so not quite black, more of a brown, creating a little bit of a sketchy gradient here in the back. Really old school looking sketch, actually. Really old school looking. I need to get the shadows on the ground. So start with your lightest light. Education never ends, that is so true. I'm always learning, man. Like the stuff you post, the stuff other people post, I'm always learning something. Um, this is actually a cheat because this little coaster or whatever would not be casting a shadow that dark, but it's all good. I do want to, I do want to lighten up on the ground here. I'll show you a thing you can do because if you have liquid in the vessel, it's not necessarily always going to cast a shadow. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of, and I don't know the right term, maybe Roshan knows, but a little, when the light passes through and kind of interacts with the shadow on the ground, you get um, just a little bit of a highlight in that shadow. Here's our reflection. Just make sure we're reflecting our highlights too. 
Okay, in that ground plane. On the glass, we'll do the same thing. And then we'll finish finish things off with uh, our like highlight pops. Thanks for joining Sketch Day Live today. I am famished, so I'm gonna engorge myself <laughs> or gorge, not engorge, gorge myself after this. Had a fantastic run this morning. So it's only fitting that I feast. Feast on all the things. <clears throat> all right, so with this tea, in this vessel, I have a wood base, so it's almost like the glass is maybe slumped and molded into this wood base. So here, I am going to just use a little gray marker on the base, on the inside. For the rest of it, like Roshan requested, I'm gonna keep as if the T is the color of the paper. Same thing here. Okay, everything except the T in this vessel. Just keep it a little bit darker. Although, let's see, I do have this rubber or some sort of plastic base, so I need to make this a little bit darker. Quick hit over the top and then I'm gonna just shade in the bottom here maybe add a little bit of texture to this piece although I did pull a little trick here maybe it's a mistake whatever you want to call it but um, on this side it looks like this inserts on the inside and then on this side it looks like on the outside so I'm gonna make it on the inside just to give it some clarity. Refraction and caustics, yes. Refraction and caustics. So on the ground here, we're gonna get, depending on where the light is, we're gonna get some refraction and caustics, thank you, Roshan, happening on the ground. So shade that in with a little pencil. You know, as the light's traveling through the glass, for example, right? So top from the right, you're gonna get some of that happening on the surface. So Sketch Day Live, Friday, May 8th. Thank you for being a part of the stream, as always. Roshan gave me a very hard topic today. So much appreciated for the challenge. As always. Okay. So we'll just keep working this. And with markers, you know, you want to think of the ink as, not even think of it, it really is translucent. So. That's why I work lightest lights or light till I get it right because you're essentially just building up value, not subtracting or doing any funny stuff when it comes to the values at play. Hello, huzzah. You need to give water shot one day, Roshan. Sketching, you can try sketching for once in your life. I thought you sketch all the time. Just giving you crap, of course. But yeah, try tone paper. I, I, it feels a little gimmicky, so that's part of why I don't do it a lot. Like you do something like this and it just blows up on Instagram. <sighs> I don't know, maybe that means I should be doing it more. 
I guess it depends on what your objectives and goals are. I just want people to come watch the, the YouTube stream, so... <laughs> Maybe I will. Um, I always do post these after though, so... Feel free to check. Check out the Instagram, check out the Google Drive. It's all there. Um, let's see, we should add some steam to this. I haven't even gotten to the paint marker yet, guys, and that's where it's just gonna be like, Bleh, whoa, what just happened? So hang tight. You've been watching this the whole time and you're like, oh man, I gotta go take a bio break or pee break. Just hang tight. Or if you're like, man, I really gotta go finish Narcos Mexico, <laughs> which frankly I wanna do today. I will check out your channel, Hazal. I guess it's unfair of me to ask you guys to subscribe if I don't check out your stuff, so I will commit to checking out some stuff if you guys subscribe. And if you do good stuff, I'll subscribe to yours. How about that? So yeah, tone paper is different. I mean, you kind of have to just work with whatever colors you're getting. <clears throat> um, you're not always going to know what the outcome will be when you, you know, apply that marker to paper. So in the case of gray on top of yellow, if it's a cool gray, it's gonna look a little bit different, right? So it's something to consider. But more importantly, just be open to experimentation. Try new things. Sketching for me is about creating symbols that represent reality. It's not about copying reality. But you do need to know the principles so you can bend the rules if you need to. All right. And I think that's important, more so than making sure everything is like totally perfect. Thanks for joining me on Sketch Day Live today. All right, so now we've gotten to the white marker and I'm using the somewhat translucent white to start. Not quite to the Moloto white marker yet, but you can see things are starting to pop and glow and shine and sparkle and all that good stuff. Um, so you do kind of want to use it sparingly. If you need the rim light, you can add it. In this case, I don't feel like I need it so much. <clears throat> but looking at this, I can tell this glass, this glass is just begging. on the rim here. A bit of a reflection there. Put that in. Okay, so I'm looking at this. There's a couple things I want to try, but I'm like, do I do more? Do I do more for you? I don't know. All right, this is a cool gray too. Just want to work on having a little separation here. Maybe just a little. Since the T itself <clears throat> is the color of the paper, that's kind of what we we're going for as requested by Roshan. And maybe I should have used like a darker paper, but we'll roll with it. Keep building those values, implied reflections and so forth. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. 
you're just joining, remember we are going live again on Sunday. That'll be around 12, around 12 Pacific. That's when I go live on Sundays, depending on my kid's situation. They're currently yelling right now, so I'm not sure what's happening, but um, depending on that kid's situation, I go live on Sundays, so around 12 Pacific. I think that's minus seven UTC, if I remember correctly. Coming up on wrapping up here, um, just a reminder, I will be sending out the article in the newsletter as well, but uh, worked on that 3D printed marker stand and, oh shoot, yeah, <laughs> RIP to that phone call. <laughs> Let's see, they're probably texting me right now actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to bounce in a minute. So I think we pushed it back to six minutes from now. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Just a quick recap, here's what we did today. We did our tea kettle, let me sign this. All these sketches are available as well if you want to purchase. Let's see, this is five, eight, 20. Um, available for purchase, so if this is something you want, I'd be happy to package and mail it up to you. We also did the sink, which took way too long, but it was a good warm up sketch. And we did, this backpack sketch on tone paper as well. I kind of wish I'd used a gray paper for this, but turned out all right. In any case, thanks for hanging guys. Um, a couple housekeeping things.